It's no secret that Nintendo's obviously working on software for the Nintendo Switch 2. After all, they did tell us earlier this year they plan to have some news and announcement, something happening with the Nintendo Switch successor by the end of March of 2025. And this comes directly from the top of Nintendo. We're talking about Shintaro Furukawa. So it doesn't get more direct than that. Nintendo is going to have news on it. And if they're going to have news on that platform... Whether or not it comes out this fiscal year, next year, the year after, Nintendo obviously is not going to have news on a platform if they aren't actually making things for it. Nintendo has always believed that software sells hardware. So yeah, Nintendo is making games for Nintendo Switch 2. That's not really a big surprise. And we actually did a story a while ago when we found out how long Thousand Year Door has been sitting around that there's actually a high chance that some of the games for Nintendo Switch 2 are actually done right now and ready to go. They're just waiting for the platform to come out. But that's just sort of a safe guess. We all kind of know that this is happening, but what we don't always know is what Nintendo's doing with the future of their game development and how this impacts the Nintendo Switch 2 because there was some good and bad news that came out of the top brass of Nintendo in regards to software that is definitely going to impact Nintendo Switch 2. We're going to be talking about that today. Uh, before I dive in, though, I want to make sure that you guys are aware we're on our road to 150,000 subscribers. So I'd appreciate if you would subscribe to the channel. Maybe drop a like if you're enjoying this content. Might bring a second video to you guys today. We'll see. If not, maybe a live stream. I don't know. We're... We're getting wild around here. Also, you can go head down to the comments down below, and I want you to answer a very, very simple question. In your mind, what is the best combo of launch games Nintendo could possibly have to ensure a successful Nintendo Switch 2 launch? All right, so we're going to go over to this article over on My Nintendo News that came out on my birthday that deals with some of this stuff around software development that I think is really important to pay attention to. Uh, it says, Nintendo president admits game development is now taking longer as hardware advances, which, again, that's that, that's kind of like, hey, look, look at how Nintendo Switch did. Look at how we averaged a game coming out every month. Hey, it's taking longer to make games. We're not going to be able to do what we did with Switch. Or... Maybe that's not true. Let's get into what was said. So Nintendo President Shintaro Furukawa explained to investors that games are now taking more time and more resources to develop, and that is impacting development times, which you would think, hey, damn, we're going to not get as many releases on Switch 2. But here's the thing. He, they have a solution. However, he says to remedy this, the Kyoto-based company is continually expanding our development resources and making the necessary investments. Tetsuya Takahashi chimed in and told them that as hardware advances, it is inevitable that software development takes longer and that they aim to continue with a variety of new offerings. And here's what Furukawa said. Game development today is more prolonged, more complex, and more advanced. That is unavoidable. To deal with this, we are continually expanding our development resources and making the necessary investments. Takahashi comes in. As hardware advances, it is inevitable that software development takes longer. But I believe we are succeeding in our efforts to shorten development cycles. For example, by steadily improving the development environment following the release of the hardware. Whether titles take a long time or a short time to develop, we want to make games that are fun. It's not as if Super Mario Bros. Wonder was under continuous development for nearly a decade. There was a long gap between the release of the previous title, New Super Mario Bros. U, and the current title because various initiatives and studies were made in the meantime. Going forward, we aim to continue with a variety of new offerings and hope you look forward to them. And then Takahashi Tezuka, the executive officer at Nintendo, says, after we finished Super Mario Bros. Wonder, I was reminded 11 years had gone by since the previous game. However, that doesn't mean we did nothing during that time. We developed several new Mario games, such as Super Mario Maker series and the 3D Mario series. To reiterate Nintendo's creative philosophy, First, we think about creating entertainment that has never been done before, regardless of whether it is a Mario series game or not. Then we think about how we can make it fun for everyone so they fall in love with Nintendo. 
All of our games involving Mario, not just Super Mario Bros. Wonder, are created with the goal of encouraging as many people as possible to enjoy them. As for upcoming new titles, some will take time to develop. Others will be made in a short period of time. I hope you look forward to our new offerings. So what Nintendo was doing here was cautioning that, yes, games are taking longer to develop than ever before. And they, they, they mentioned that, you know, one of the things that happens is trying to get the development env environment solid after the launch of new hardware. So when they released Nintendo Switch 2, one of the biggest challenges is getting everyone comfortable with that brand new game development environment because that's what it is every time even for iterative platforms it's not exactly the same as the previous platform so there is a lot of trying to sort out the best ways to take advantage of the hardware and all of the software development tools so what nintendo's really just saying is hey yes games are going to take longer however we feel like we were already prepared for this we're aware of this uh, to add some more context to this, over the last calendar year, Nintendo has added 400 new developers to their team, not really losing any, and they are also building a brand new building next to their current corporate headquarters that is dedicated to game development and is essentially the same size as the current building. So they are really looking to rapidly expand their teams and add potentially thousands of new game developers. Nintendo is already investing in the future where maybe we shouldn't be so concerned that they're not going to be able to deliver games in a timely manner or at least a somewhat timely manner. I think for some games, a lot of us are very understandable if development takes a while. The next big 3D open world Zelda game, we know that's going to take five to six years to make. And even if with no DLC and we presume, okay, let's say, you know, if we want to be kind uh, and say Nintendo gave their developers vacation or something, okay, cool. They started development on that early this year. Okay, well, if you fast forward, uh, five years from now is 2029. Now, a lot of us think they probably started development on it last year. Uh, so then maybe you get 2028, but again, we're kind of understanding about that. The big thing is while it could take five to six years to make one of those big Zelda games, we don't want that to be it for Zelda. We don't just want a Zelda every five to six years. Well, Nintendo's already remedied that. We've already seen it before with Age of Calamity or even other crossovers. Hello, Cadence of Hyrule. But beyond that, obviously the remakes and remasters with Link's Awakening and Skyward Sword HD but that's not even it. We're getting a brand new Top Town Zelda on September 26th in Echoes of Wisdom. So what Nintendo is doing is saying, yeah, maybe like the big tent pole game in each major IP might take a while. Like the next Animal Crossing could, you know, could take a while. The, the, the next Mario Kart has obviously taken a while. But we have enough going on in between to satisfy our consumers with other offerings. Even for Mario Kart, right? It's been forever since Mario Kart 8 originally launched on Wii U. We've had two other Mario Kart properties released in between. We had Mario Kart Home Circuit, and this isn't even counting the DLC for Mario Kart 8 Deluxe on Switch, but you had Mario Kart Home Circuit, and then they had Mario Kart Tour. So Nintendo is finding a way to supplement these games that are taking longer and longer to make with other offerings related to the franchise that don't take quite as long to make. So I think Nintendo has really positioned themselves in a way where it is a concern that game development is going to take longer. And every big AAA studio has seen this happen from the Naughty Dogs to the EAs to the Ubisoft to even indie developers where games are taking longer and longer to make, which means games are becoming more expensive to make. But Nintendo's also in this position where they never got in the habit of overspending to make their games. They never got in the habit of temporary employees at all of their studios. I know Retro Studios does operate in that way, making that one of Nintendo's most expensive studios. But the rest of their studios don't operate in that way. So Nintendo looks at when they hire someone, they hope they're hiring them for life if they're talented enough that Nintendo wants to keep them around. But I also look at this and go, hey... This just sounds like music to my ears. It sounds like Nintendo's aware that software development naturally is taking longer, but they've already enacted steps, including team expansion, to negate some of that time. There, there are just some inevitable things that are just going to take longer. Like the next Zelda game, yeah, it's just going to take a while to make the next big open world one, but 
Again, they found ways to give us stuff in between that satisfies the consumer base. So I'm just going to say that I think Nintendo knows what they're doing. Uh, we've been averaging a game published by Nintendo every single month of the Nintendo Switch's life, which is absolutely insane. Uh, even this year, we have like 11 out of the 12 months. And even then, you could argue 12 out of 12. I think Nintendo just knows what they're doing. And... I, honestly, all these quotes and all the stuff they told the investors, it all it did was build confidence for me in Nintendo's strategy with games for Switch 2 to the point that I honestly think, well, it's good news, bad news. Bad news, games take longer. Good news, Nintendo's addressing it. I think the general good news is that this output that we've gotten on Switch, get used to it because it's going to continue on Nintendo Switch 2, which to me just assures the success of the platform. What could be the downfalls if all the games they have coming suck? But, I mean, you saw, you know, Tezuka saying, like, hey, we focus on unique things and, and fun. And, like, more importantly, as long as we deliver fun experiences for people that want to play it that creates consumer loyalty, they'll be fine. And you know what? He ain't wrong. I'm loyal because the games kick ass. So keep kicking ass, Nintendo. Anyways, guys, I'm Nintendo RoboJazz from Nintendo Prime. I want to thank you so much for tuning in on this lovely Saturday July 20th, and we'll uh, catch you in the next video.